Right, 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 right. <clears throat> like I said, right. Let's get right into this. <coughs> we lost. When we ended, we were on the drink first. I don't trust you. Second, my lord. Now you. Delicious. It's poison. <coughs> and you poisoned yourself too. I know. Can I, can I, I can I understand you? Or oh, something like that. Now, number six. Women were not restricted to staying at home, teaching children, cooking or farming, while the men went off to fight. Women in girl followed professional followed professions, including wine cellar, butcher, doctor and chemist. Number seven. This may make women seem strong and powerful, but Roman leader Julius Caesar said that <coughs> said that in Gallo men had the power of life or death over the women. He probably was wrong when he went on when he went on when the head of the noble family dies and there's a suspicion about the death, then his widow is questioned under torture. If she's found guilty of her, his death, then she is sentenced to burn and sentenced to the flame. With the most cruel tor <coughs> torment. <clears throat> Number eight. It, it, it's possible that a woman were a druid priestess. This is to describe the British forces we have faced sending in fellows on Anglis. Wow. On the opposite shore stood the British army with its defence crowd of army warriors. Between the columns dashed women in black. Like the goddesses of war, their hair wild having or even flaming torches around what a druid terrifying of our soldiers. Gulp. These women were also involved with human sacrifices. Tessie, the Roman, said the Roman, found the grissy remains of blood and guts on the altars in the woods. <clears throat> Some also had the power of seeing into the future. Tessie was a simple soldier in the Roman army. When he was paying for his bill at the tavern, a coat of women approached him and said, You are mean and greedy. I am a poor soldier. I bet you are not that mean when you are an emperor of Rome. Me? When would that be? When you have killed the boar. Yes, there. This is going to kill the emperor, leading to put a guy and became emperor. It was such a woman predicted. The name of the emperor, but guard was appear a name meaning boar ah, ah, ah. Ah. 10 you can't always trust historians of course a great geographer called Stablo lived from about 40 BC till about 85 52 AD and he gave a description of priests living on an island of the coast of France many historians believe this island was British Britain and the people People by them would have been killed. But would you have liked to pay the visit to the churches? Here. Here's, here's what report goes. <clears throat> Persinius says there is an island in the ocean not far from land. These women there honor the god Dionysus and worship him with ceremonious and sacrificial rituals. It is their custom once a year to remove the roofs from their temples and cover it again. Then some day before sunset, each one must carry part of the Lord. But if any woman let her Lord drop, and she is torn to pieces by the others, then the then they then carry the pieces of her around the temple, chanting, and do not stop till the madness passes away. But it always happens that somebody pushes against a woman who has chosen to suffer this fate. Imagine that, being torn apart by a bunch of ruthless women. Men were not allowed to land on this island. I can't imagine many men would want to. Tales, tale, tall tales. And the ancient Celt stories, naturally, women and other villains in the Celt legends. There are some strange women around. 1. In Irish legend, Medib is a cruel, jealous, 
unreliable and gets his power through witchcraft. In the end, she was killed by a son of one of her victims. He killed her with a slingshot, like David killed Goliath, but instead of a stone, he hit her with a piece of cheese. If it was soft cheese, it should be a rope, but it was hard cheese, then it was hard for her. 2. Bono made the mistake of visiting, visiting a well. Husband named Natural was guarding the well. Husband Natural was guarding the well and told her not to go in there. Noisy Bono had to have a look, didn't she? As a result, the water gushing out, the well drowned her and formed the river. Now, now known as Ebonia is an era, it said she in there somewhere. If you ever go swimming in the river and find a skeleton, you know who it is. 3. Werner was accused of murdering her baby son. In fact, he was pinched by an evil spirit by Werner. But Werner got the blame. Her lady in waiting killed a puppy and smeared Werner's with blood as she slept. When she woke covered in blood with no baby, I hadn't believed she had got rid of the baby body by eating it. Okay. Four. A girl Eden was turned into a fly into a fly by a jealous goddess. This was quite useful because she could hum the god near to sleep with a buzzing and wake him up in days that came near. The jealous goddess was not satisfied and chased her along so long and heard that it then buzzed her way into a woman's wine glass. The woman drank the wine and swallowed Elton. And before you ask, no, the woman did not swallow a spider to catch a fly, or swallow a bird to catch the spider that wiggled and wiggled and tickled inside another story. That's another story together. So anyway, next time you feel like swallowing a fly, remember, it could be some poor cursed girl. True Tale of Terror 1969 AD, AD and Rome had defeated a rebellion led by Sirius. We have come to arrest Sirius. Too late, he poisoned himself. We set fire to his house when he his corpse inside. Good riddance to kill rubbish. In fact, Sirius was hiding in a cave. Ha ha, fool them. What a cunning cat I am. Then apparently, apparently his wife joined him. The Romans will be watching you. Stay away. No, I'll let up your own widow by day. But at night, I'll come to you. What a cool cow idea. For nine years, they got away with it. But one day, gotcha, sirs. You're under arrest. Oh, couch curse. Spears went before the emperor. I'm sending you to death. I plead for my life. Go away, you miserable life pleader. And you're a miserable life Caesar. Little Caesar. What? It was. I was happy in the cave, and you'll never be on your throne. Excuse her too. That's what I hoped you'd say. Hmm. Huh, right, let's see what the time is. Okay, yep. Yeah. Apona wished. Wish had been to go to the other world with her husband. She got a wish. And they were excluded the very day. Brave cat women, or a waste of good life? What would you have done? Cut folk women. Some German German tribes were closely related to the Celts. The Symbian holy women were tall and tough and bloodthirsty. Lot. They were grey with age. Wore white tunics and over these cloaks was the finest lean. And one gir gra 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 uh, girdles. They were barefoot. These women would either the camp of their warriors, sword in hand, and go up to the prisoners. They would then crown them as and lead them up to the large bronze vessel. One of them would mount a steep. And leaning over the cauldron, cut the throat of a prisoner who was held up, up over the vessel's rim. Other cut, 
others cut the body open and after inspecting the internals would foretell victory for their countrymen. Who noticed the women did not foretell the results, they foretell the victory. Nor, in other words, they knew when the entrails or guts will say before they killed the victim. Seems like a waste of good prisoner, to be honest. This story was told by Greek Stavro and may have had some truth in it. However, do not try this at home, it makes a terrible mess. When look up it, if you want to look at look into the future, then read your high school scripts in the daily paper. <sighs> cutthroat corpses. Women were also the victims of cutthroat carvers. In late Roman Britain, Britain, there were many examples of people being buried with their heads removed and placed between their legs. Most of these were middle-aged or elderly women. It's hard to say if they were beheaded before or after they were dead, but they were all beheaded very cleanly, and the same neck bone, and from the front. But why? Some historians think it was also so the women could see their way into the next life. A pair of eyes at your feet can come in hand very handy sometimes, or it could have been a punishment for witchcraft. Who knows? Many of these bodies had their jaws removed that should shut them up in the, in the next life, all right? Some women heads are buried in wells, one in Oxfordshire village called Hesitant. Honest! Did you know from the ancient laws of Hilwelda, we, we know that many legal wells kings had, to, had a servant known as a footholder? Believe it or not, the footholder held the king's feet. From the time the king sat down to eat his evening meal, to eat his evening meal, the feet holder took the king's feet in his lap and held him till he went to bed. While, he, while the king feet were of his king were of his kingdom, he couldn't he could relax. He wasn't he could relax. He wasn't king for a while. The footholder had the power. Criminals could ask the footholder for a pardon, and he would probably allow them to go free. The king would have have them punished. Oh my god. <clears throat> Crazy Celt life. The Celts were farmers when they weren't hunting animals or fighting Roman. They kept cows and sheep and hens and so on. Sounds illogical, doesn't it? But would you like to have lied as a cat, Celt, lived as a Celt? Read the facts and make up your own mind. One, the Celts dressed to keep warm. But they also like to put on a bit of a show. Women wore cheap check skirts. And when they went into important meetings, they wore makeup, bracelets, and anklets, necklace, finger rings, earrings, and hairpins. Richer women also wore the gold neck bands. Talk, talk was that were worn by your hero warriors. The cats had no buttons. They used pins or bracelets as the pins would be to decorate. Two. Imagine having decorations on your zips. Jamid, why do you wear this strange gold fruit with the blue stone decoration in the shape of a dragon? Stop me trousers falling down. Trousers falling down. Thanks. Two. Irish Celts seem to have been very clean people. They washed hands and feet every morning and had a full bath every night. They scrubbed themselves with soap and lean cloth. The good news is that the water was usually heated. The bad news is that you probably shared the water with the rest of the family. The three, the Celt houses, were made free. The Celt houses were made of Water walls, water walls, thin bridges, 
women woven to make panels, which were then plastered with mud to keep droughts out. The was were fractured and the fire built in the middle. Oh, the signal large room that everyone shared. The trouble is that there doesn't seem to have been a chimney for the smoke to escape. Sparks must have ca caused a lot of roof fire and the smoking would have definitely been bad for you. What a grubby family. I bet they haven't had a bath in weeks. Disgusting. No, the house has got burnt down. Oh, I do that. Four. The Celts built these houses in groups, often on the top of hills and often with a defense wall around them. You call it the a hill fort or a village because you sense me, because you are sensible. But a horrible historian shown off, show off, we call it a podium. You don't really need to know this, but if you ever get bored on a car journey, you know, every time you pass the village, you can see a podium, a podium, a podium, dumb. Today winning the card is to be mad. Five. Clean fingernails were a must. If someone damaged a fingernail, they'd have to pay you for the damage. Under Irish law, a great Irish insult was called rag snail nails. Six. They probably used iron bars as a sort of money. It's what the 80 cent meter bars for other goods. Anyone with a dirty, dirty great magnet would have made a fortune as a pickpocket. 7. The Celts had another useful type of money. You didn't have to carry it around with you. It walked. It could. It was called a slave. These slaves could be people captured in battle or defeated during an invasion. The Romans used slaves as an, and made wine. The Celts enjoyed wine but lived too far north to grow grapes. So the Celts swapped slaves for wine. Warning, do not let your parents know this or they may take you to local off, off license and try to trade you in for a can, a can of lager. 8. The Celts ate their plate. Ate the plate made of pottery, but sometimes the plates were made out of wood. Fit is burnt. No, the plates made of ash. The Celts ate with their fingers and they pushed Fussy Roman row. They, they eat cleanly, but like lions, raising up a whole lamb with both hands and biting off the meat. 9. Celts had very little furniture, so they slept on the floor wrapped in animal skin, bear skin, or wolf skin. Kept warm. Of course, you could end up even warmer running away from the bears and wolves as you tried to nick their skins. Good night, dear. Not love. Ten. The Celts were very fond of hunting. They got rid of pets, like deer that ate the crops, providing them with food, like wild boar, and clothing, wolf skin. But above all, it gave them a popular form of entertainment. They used long handed spears, bow, spear bows, and metal tipped arrows or slingshots. These weapons need a lot of practice. If you didn't, don't believe me, then make one and pop off your nest nearest for forest. I bet you didn't know, didn't kill a single wolf or bear if you hunted all year. No going to the zoo to win the bet. Zoo is cheating. We're brave cow hunters wading deep in the wild woods so we can kill. Yeah, mum, didn't need to bring us out these sandwiches. Don't even get these sandwiches. Uh, I'm gonna have to, I'll be cutting it short for the day. Page! Or let's say, um. Page 130. Bye!